Today I have my nephew's Razer MX350. It's in for a bit of an upgrade. It's a pretty good bike actually from the factory. Um, lots of fun. But they only run for about 15-20 minutes before they go flat. And that's just not going to work. <laughs> that's just no good. So, uh, I mean, that's mostly on account of the pretty cheap lead acid batteries they ship with. So the plan is to go ahead and swap those out. And in order to do that, we're going to have to replace the controller as well. So let's take a look at what we have. First up, new battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate. These are safer than lithium ion. And given that this is a kid's toy, I don't want anything catching on fire. These tend to be a bit safer. Um, this is a 24 volt pack that matches what it came with from the factory. So it's going to be about the same speed. It's just going to run for a lot longer. So this is a 24 amp hour and the lead acids that come with it are seven. So that's about three and a half times longer, I believe. Yeah. Uh, to go along with that, a new controller. This is from Fast Scooters. Uh, you can find this on eBay. They also sell this upgraded twist grip. It's got a battery indicator, a uh, fun little key. And um, this actually has a whole range of motion. The, the stock one just is a, it's a switch basically. So um, that'll give a lot more control. And lights, because why not? That's fun. Throw some lights on there. Headlight and taillight kit. So first up, I need to get these fairings off so we can see what we're dealing with. And we're gonna have to come up with a strategy for mounting the battery. There seems to be a lot of empty space in there. So I'm optimistic. All right, let's uh, get it torn down and we'll see what we have to work with. Never modify the electrical system. <laughs> Yeah, sure. 